from the moment we crossed paths at the Hamilton Lake. What they struck to my heart, your beautiful smile and your dimple. As we journey together, I promise to love you unconditionally, to respect you and to communicate openly. I promise to be your steadfast companion, your comfort in times of sorrow, and your greatest supporter in times of trial. I honor to be one of you chose to walk through life, and I am excited to see what beautiful blessings God has store for us. In today's society, the word love has taken so many meanings. Being defined by social media, by rom-coms, by YouTube, and K-dramas. The term fall in love seems to give us an impression that it's an accidental thing, that you can fall in love, and in the same way, you can accidentally fall out of love. Is that how it is? Love in its purest form is not something that happens to us. It's a condition that we create and we give of ourselves. It requires the husband to love his wife as Jesus loved the church, being willing to give his life for his bride. It requires the wife to show a tremendous amount of respect for her husband. It requires both to submit to one another. It requires a genuine desire for relational unity and oneness. I promise to cherish and honor you, to support you in all that you do, and to stand by your side through every joy and challenges that life throws our way. And now, our creative journey starts today. No doubt that he'll bring the same dedication and reliability to his marriage with Joe. So Joe, uh, please just make a clear and concise instruction. So you have a smooth relationship. It's an answered prayer, because I, before I thought, na kung baka tumandang dalaga yung dalawang kapatid ko, kasi, Pray kami ng pray, walang dumarating. Yun pala, pupunta si Johanna dito, dito niya mamimit si Tim, o diba? So, um, it's really God's plans uh, that, that prevail. Hip, hip! So to Tim and Joe, may your love continue to grow stronger with each passing day. Let God be the center of your relationship. And may your life together be filled with endless love, happiness, and unforgettable moments. Uh, raise our glasses. Here's to Timothy and Johanna. Cheers. Today, in the presence of our family and loved ones and friends, I vow to love you even when you leave the dishes in the sink. 
<laughs> to tolerate your messy art station, to laugh at your corny punchlines, to listen to your rant at the end of the day. <laughs> I promise to support you on your endeavors, to pray for you and a future family. I commit to love you and to submit to you as my spiritual covering. And to you both, we are blessed are with you and our prayers. You and Johanna, you are one family. You are now a single entity, a solid foundation rooted in the Word of God. And I want you to make it because this is our decoration. As your auntie, then then and I, myself. What God has put together, let no man separate it. Cheers to the newlywed! And as you begin with your uh, married life, uh, I believe that the best guide you can have is the Word of God. As you continue to pray together, make Christ as the center of your marriage and relationship, I believe that uh, your marriage will be successful. Congratulations and God bless both of you. I plead my heart, my love, and my life to you. I am forever grateful for you, and I am eager to spend every moment of my life loving, learning with you, and grow old with you. With all of my heart, your creative hearts, man. Thank you. Hold on tight, we'll keep going till we reach new heights. Going further than we ever thought we could. You are the same. As a minister of the gospel here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Well, Tim, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>